Some of you are feeling like giving up right now. Don't do it. Don't, don't, just don't do it. We need you here. The emotions are simply emotions, which means it can't last. So no matter what you're feeling, that emotion will not stay. So never make a permanent decision based on a temporary emotion. Don't believe everything you think. You see, we naturally feel that if we think something, it's got to be true because it comes from within us. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you there's still hope. Don't you give up on your dream. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much, but don't you quit. It takes courage to be exceptional. It takes courage to be wise. It takes courage to be rich. It takes courage to be educated. It takes courage to be knowledgeable. Because the moment you do, but you, you don't talk like, oh, you don't got, forgot where you came from. Look at you, you talked to me. It takes courage. And I'm just wondering, in this weak, watered-down, mediocre society that we live in today, in this reality TV world we live in today, I'm wondering if there's anybody left that's got the courage to say, after all I've been through, and all my ancestors have been through, and all my parents have been through, I didn't come through all of that just to fit in with normalcy. I have the courage to go after my dream. Do you have the courage? You don't even know how creative you are until you run out of options. You don't know how innovative you are until you feel like your back is up against a wall. I am excited about your future because your darkness is about to be your development. Everybody can stand up and do good when everything is all good. Everybody can smile when the sun shines. Everybody can do right when everything is going right. Everybody can do that. But everybody can't face opposition, adversity, and challenges and say, I've been waiting on you to come, I'm gonna embrace you, and I'm gonna figure out a way to use you because you will never make me a person that people don't recognize before the adversity. That's made up in my mind before the battle even happens. Because I know I ain't running. I know I ain't quitting. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it come hell or high water. I'm going after my destiny. I'm going to make a commitment, and no matter what happens, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it done. That's the will. That's the most important part. Like you're seeing people like in the midst of opposition, they're like, that's why I play the game. I've been waiting on the opposition. Where you been? This is why I signed up to do it. I was waiting on it so I could see what I'm made out of. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. If you don't have the will to get through all the stuff that you have to get through to get to the other side, the will. You are strong enough to climb any mountain. You are strong enough to get through any test. You have a will that was given to you at birth. I need you to exercise it. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving.